Yeah, and there are other disasters that are taking place. Uh, Easter Sunday night, right here in this area, we had seven tornadoes that went through this area. I think of our friends in Africa that experienced in Kenya and different places, the grasshopper plague that came across and just covered homes and covered people. You could hardly see them and they ate their weight in food every day so the kids were starving to death. I think of India where we got lots of friends and the fact is it's grown over a million people that have gotten the COVID virus and they're up to almost two million people now in the nation and it's continuing to grow. So I'm saying things are happening as a result of all of these things that are hurting people. It's a disaster that's going on and people want to know where is God in all of this? Yes, John, I think people are asking some very relevant questions that we're going to be discussing today and in future programs. For example, they do ask, where is God in the midst of all of this? Uh, did he cause it? Does he just watch it? You know, what's happening from that standpoint? But the other kinds of questions they are asking is this, is this a result of sin? Uh, can you look at the nations that have sinned the most and they have most of the pandemic? Is that the way we should interpret it biblically? We're going to be discussing that later on, but those are the kinds of questions. And then the other question is that in the midst of God's apparent silence, I say apparent silence, can people trust God? Does God actually care about us or does he just say that he does? And do we have the kind of faith that is going to be able to take us through this and recognize that in the Bible there is a hope beyond this life? And so we encourage people, we help them to interpret the events that they are involved in right now, but we want to give people an eternal hope, and that will become clear as we continue yeah, to discuss these things. Yeah, what bothers me, Irwin, is